With the Z Modeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Z Modeler poly menu. Locate the spin action. With the spin action selected, you have a series of targets and then some modifiers down below. To start off, let's keep the target as a single poly and the modifier as mesh center. Returning to our model and simply clicking on a poly and dragging will perform a spin action. The spin action with the actual modifier of mesh center will spin that poly you have selected according to the center of this actual mesh. So that's taking the actual object you have in your scene and finding the center point and then performing the spin around that actual center point. Hovering over a poly again, we can change this modifier to axis center, which will look at the actual world axis of your scene. So here we have the zero zero point of the actual world. And if I come over and spin this poly now, with the actual access center modifier selected, you will notice that this poly here will be spun around that world access. Undoing again, then going back into the ZModeler poly menu, we also have local symmetry as a modifier. With this selected, if I hover over a poly and click and drag, it will perform the spin based on the local symmetry of the actual target selected. So right now I just had single poly selected, so it's allowing me to spin the single poly. If I hover back over that and say change my target to something like Flat Island with that local symmetry selected, you'll notice I'll be able to spin this entire Flat Island by the center of that actual target. There is also the option of Polygon Center. With Polygon Center selected, it's going to look at your target and find the Polygon Center of that and then spin around that area. Using this on a target such as Flat Island can create some interesting effects on your models. Undoing that again and pressing spacebar to go back into the Z Modeler poly menu. There is also the modifier of clicked center. With clicked center selected, wherever you click on the actual surface of your model will determine the actual center point for that spin. So as you can see here, I click there and then when I actually spin, it'll spin off of that point. If I undo and click up here, I can spin off of that point. There's also the modifier of clicked polygon corner. With this selected, ZBrush will look at the actual poly you click and try to find the closest point to that location. So if I click right here, it's going to perform the spin around this actual point. If I click over here, it's going to perform the spin around that actual point. Finally, there are also some modifiers down here below, which will allow you to apply snap settings to the actual spin. So by default, it's set to no alignment. We can set the alignment to 15 degrees, then we can come back over and spin along the target, and the rotation will happen in 15 degree intervals. There's also the ability to add a custom alignment and even align your rotation to the world axis. Using this spin action, you can come through and spin different areas of geometry on your model, or use it in tangent with the Q mesh action to come through and start generating different areas of change on your actual models. Thank you.